Rodan is a new AI tool that can generate 3D models from images or even simply from text. And it aims to create production-ready results. But can it do that? And since this is a paid service, I'm sure you'll be asking yourself, is it expensive? Is it worth it? These are the questions we'll be answering in this video. You can access Rodan from the link that you'll find in the video description. And once you register, you'll be greeted with this intro, which I think is cool because it tells you what you can expect from this tool without being too boastful. They tell you what they emphasize, they tell you what the tool is good at, and they even encourage you to look at other options. They also tell you that the tool is new and still immature. So I don't know, but I like honesty and I kind of miss it in this day and age. So this is very cool. So I can click accept and we are ready to rock with Rodan. Now here you'll see your profile, a link to their Discord if you have any questions, and points. We'll talk about this later because the points do not mean anything out of context. So we'll generate some objects and then we'll see how much we paid for them. Now if you scroll down you'll see recent objects that were generated with this tool. So right away you can get an impression of what is possible. To create your own model you want to press on the plus button and choose an image file or you have the text input option. In here you can type what you want to see such as a cartoony squirrel, confirm, and in a second you'll get an image, which you can regenerate if you like. And let's say that I like this one and I can confirm. It doesn't matter if you upload your own image or if you use the text prompt. Either way, this will be the image that will be used for the 3D generation. So I'll confirm and I can actually add another image. We'll also look at this in a second. For now, we'll go with a single image and generate. I can set this as private, but in this case I don't mind, I'll leave it as public. Again, very quickly you'll get a preview of your 3D model. And you'll be able to redo the basic model free of charge. And by the way, so far we haven't spent any money. You can change the prompt and you also have a couple of predefined very important prompts. One of them is symmetric geometry. So for symmetric characters, make sure to enable this. You have sharp edges, useful for hard surface models, smooth edges for more cartoony shapes, and simple geometry and complex geometry. For a cartoony character, I would actually enable simple geometry, and let's redo it. It only takes a couple of seconds, and you can see a new preview of your model. I like this, so I'm going to confirm. When confirming, make sure to set these settings. You have number of polygons and this hyper setting. Hyper will take longer, but it gives better results. So let's enable it. And the model generation should take three credits. Currently, it only takes one. I'm not sure why. Let's give it a second. And this will give you your final 3D model. If you go here to wireframe, you'll see that the topology looks quite reasonable. While it doesn't look human made, it looks like a good auto topology. The next step is to texturize this model. So I'll have to press the generate button, which will cost me one credit. And we have some options. PBR temperature means how much detail do you want the AI to put in your textures? And reference strength is how similar do you want the texture to this reference image? Let's go with the default options and wait a minute or so. At this stage, we can also redo up to 15 times without paying any additional credits. So I'll reduce the reference strength a little bit and increase temperature just a little bit. And let's see what that gives us. I'll play with it some more. So I kind of like this, but keep in mind that you can always press the history button and that will give you all of the options that you generated. So if you like the previous one, you can always go back. Now I'm going to confirm, which is going to finalize the texture without costing me any credits. We already paid one credit when we started the texturing process. And that's the generation process. You can now choose some export options, download your model and use it anywhere you like, such as Blender, Maya, a game engine and so on. I'll go for base model, FBX, PBR textures in 1K and click download. When I unzip the download, I'll have an FBX file and a couple of PBR textures. In Blender, I can go to import FBX 
and import the FPX file, and it will have the textures already applied. From here, you may want to do additional modeling, sculpting, and so on. Now let's go back to Rodan. When using multiple images, there are two modes. In one, you provide several angles of the same subject, which gives you more control over the generation. In another, you can fuse together two unrelated shapes. I am more interested in the first one, because this basically allows us to use classic model sheets, which Rodan will model for us. So I'll press the plus button, and navigate to a folder where I have some images of the front view, side view, and so on of the same character. Here I can select all of them, but instead I'm going to select the front view first and open it. I believe the first image has the most weight, and so you want to choose the one that most clearly represents your character. And then from here you can just add the remaining images. Press generate, and now you'll be able to choose between multi-view which is the same character from different angles, and Fusion, which tries to fuse two different shapes. In this case, we want multi-view. We have a preview already, but in this mode, we can actually tell Rodan which image is which angle. Place your mouse over one of the images, then place it over the image, left-click and drag, and that will allow you to set the angle. So this one is front, this one is back, this one is right, and this one is front right. The previews are very useful here. I'm also going to disable symmetric geometry and try to redo. I'm going to play around with the settings a little bit more to see if I get a better result. Let's confirm with the hyper option. Now we have the final 3D model, and something I forgot to mention in the previous example is this Mesh Editor. This is basically a sculpting space right here in Rodan. So for example, I can flatten this area here, which I think wasn't generated correctly. But this is just a quick example. Personally, I would do my sculpting in Blender. Now let's move on to creating the texture. Just click Generate with the default settings for now. And this is definitely missing the mark, especially in the eyes. So let's try to reduce the reference strength. So getting fine details in the texture can definitely be a struggle. So you may want to be prepared to do some manual texturing. I'm going to go with this texture, which seems to be the closest so far. So let's confirm. And download an FBX. In Blender. I could go to texture paint mode and try to draw the eyes. Currently I'm using the mouse, so it won't be great. But you can definitely improve things here. As for the fusion of multiple images, I can show you one of my previous results. I created this turtle shark. Uh, which also featured a robot, but I wasn't able to integrate it. But basically the workflow is very similar, except that when you generate the geometry, you can drag a slider here between the different shapes, and that will determine which shape is the most dominant one. In this case, the shark is the most dominant, the turtle almost the same, and the robot not so much. I found this approach difficult to use, so I believe it's actually better to try to get your mixed character in your image. So you could use a text prompt, or you could even use another AI tool, such as Mid Journey or Stable Diffusion, and then you can use Rodan to create your 3D model. And here are some other models that I created. In the case of this turtle, I was surprised how the AI really understands the shape even though the back part is not visible at all, we have a clear separation between the shell and the legs. This model was generated from two images, front and back, of a stuffed animal. And so I guess Rodan can kind of be used instead of photogrammetry, at least for very simple objects. If you will look at the featured models, you'll definitely find examples of hard surface models which look reasonably good. After generating a couple of models, 
we can also talk about pricing. As you can see, you can buy individual credits or you can become a subscriber. We have a creator tier and a business tier. Remember that the generation of models costs three credits, but it is currently discounted and it's only one credit and texture generation is one credit. With that in mind, let's try to break down the cost. If you buy credits without a subscription, one credit is equal to $1.5 regardless of how many credits you buy. If you subscribe with the creator option, you get 30 credits for $24, which is 80 cents per credit. And with the business option, you get 208 credits for $96, which is 46 cents per credit. So with the current discount, you'll be paying $3 per model without a subscription, $1.6 as creator and 92 cents as business subscriber. Without the discount, we get $12, $6.4 and $3.69 respectively. With the current discount, I would call this very cheap regardless of your tier. Without the discount, I guess it gets a little bit pricey if you don't use a subscription. So that is my price analysis. Keep in mind that you may need to regenerate a model multiple times, so you may want to double these amounts just in case. So is Rodan production ready? If we are talking about a main model in a high-end production, such as a Pixar movie, then not yet. But not everything is a Pixar movie. Rodan already does many things really well, and combined with its low cost, it can open the doors for many creators to bring their 3D visions to life. As a quick example, this is the squirrel I generated earlier. I rigged it using Rigify, I gave it a simple animation and placed it in a 3D environment. And this is the wolf character from earlier. Here I used Miximo to automatically rig and animate it. Rigify and Miximo are tools you can learn for free here on CG Dive. So from Rodan to Mixamo, you can now create 3D animation with very little technical knowledge. Rodan is already doing many things right, such as understanding 3D shape, creating usable topology and PBR textures. And it is still only in beta, so I'm definitely looking forward to its future.